Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Syahrul Faizul bin Muhammad Saufi and my number the zip card is S59559. Uh, today I will conduct in a uh, group mate in group 11 consider me Nur Atika Anis Liana and Nur Fatiha. Pandemic COVID-19 has changed many many physical activities and get effect uh, in community in Malaysia. Around that, the Malaysia Ministry of Education and Ministry of Higher Education was accepted that all students, teachers and lecturers to change their physical activities uh, to at classroom to do uh, distant learning. So I will interview one of student uh, I use this platform to their first semester. Okay, so can you introduce about yourself? Okay, my name is Muhammad Khairi Islam Bajalali. As a student, Bachelor Management of Policy Studies in semester 1 at UN. So, is what? Uh, what is your platform uh, you use uh, in the classroom uh, to uh, distant learning? Okay, the platform to do distant learning, for example, we have back Google Meet, Google Classroom, and Zoom. So, I prefer to use a lot of web based applications for each class with the lecture. Oh, I see. Uh, this platform is different uh, than at campus uh, because uh, we can just stay at home and use good uh, uh, internet connection. Uh, if we lose uh, internet connection, uh, we can uh, advantage and dismiss about uh, class season. Yes, yes. Okay. So thank you for uh, is one for your participant. Uh, I can uh, pass the next documentary for No Atika. Thank you. Thank you, Sharu. So hi and assalamualaikum. My name is No Atika binti Muhammad Hamdan. My metric number is S five nine three eight four. So today I will continue interviewing my friend uh, Anna Zare from UITM Rumah, right? Yes, UITM Rumah. On the topic of distance learning. So, hi Zare. Hi Tika. Can we start now? Yes, we can. Okay, my first question is, uh, in your opinion, what are the pros and cons of online distance learning? In my opinion, the pros of online distance learning would probably be uh, the fact that you can actually take your class anywhere, even at a cafe or a restaurant or even at a beach. And the cons for it is maybe that uh, during tests or quizzes, uh, the students can cheat and copy their friends or even discuss with their friends that would be the cons yeah i agree, uh, I agree with you uh, we can do anywhere for online learning as long as we have a good connection of internet right yeah of course okay so uh, my second question is yeah. is the learning uh, difficult or easy to understand well it's very subjective uh, for me, it's not that hard, but it is also not that easy, so it's very moderate. Um, some subjects are easy to understand, but calculation subjects, on the other hand, are very hard. Yeah, I see. Uh, but for me, yeah. online learning is a little bit difficult because yeah. I cannot study alone. I need my friend around me, so they can teach me uh, about the subject that I cannot understand. Yeah, it's, it's different for everyone. Yeah. So, thank you and Mazari for your time. You're welcome. Anytime. Okay, so that's all from me. Uh, so, I will pass this interview for the next interviewer, Anis Liana. Bye. Okay, thank you Atika. Now I want to continue the interview with Miss Hada. She is a teacher. Okay, Miss. Uh, is distant learning hard? In my opinion, there's two perspectives of the distance learning. It can't be easy, it also can be easy. So it depends actually. It's for us as a teacher, it's convenient to have uh, the class online because we can be more interactive. We can use a lot of platform 
and we also have we also can attract students attention using a lot a lot of uh, fun games based learning so but for student itself it can be exhausted because it's not easy to be on in front of the screens whole day from 8 30 up to 2 30 is not easy at the end of the semester they already burn out so it's not that easy but yeah <laughs> just now you said it's much more easier to teach online how you make it easy yeah, there's a lot of platforms that you can use to make it easy that we usually for the maths we use Google Jamboard. We use a lot of Google product actually a product actually. So example is Google Jamboard. We also use Google Docs. We use Google uh, PowerPoint what you call uh, the Google slide and we also we have Neopod. We use study letters and is a lot actually if you go through online and search for it you can find a lot a lot of platform that you can use to attract students oh. attention yeah yeah i can see it took a lot of effort to accomplish that accomplish that now i pass to the next interview thank you Okay, hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nupatna Bin Sidiwala and my basic number is AS59414. Today, I will be Masita Awan and she is a student at University of Malaysia Terengganu. Okay, so Masita, can I ask you a question about this day journey? Yes, okay. Okay, my question is, does the design learning make it a challenge for you and why? Okay. Yes? Uh, distance learning makes it a challenge for me because when it comes to distance learning, you have to learn from home. Many students include me suffer, suffering a lot in this question. What I mean is, we have to struggle a lot to understand what nature is as today. Sometimes we don't even know how to make a good conclusion for what we learn today. So it's a bit difficult to us to uh, what we call to study uh, when uh, it's different different for we uh, we study at university. We have a friend to handle something like that. Secondly, no students come from wealthy family. What I mean is the of some my family uh, sorry my friends uh, who stay in land or far from city uh, such as uh, my friends from Sabah uh, does not have good coverage to study online they have to go outside to make sure they get proper internet access back to google or anything that they should use to teach us so um, for me it's uh, a bit sympathy because uh, some of some of us uh, have to struggle, have to make some effort to study online. For me, I have internet at school, so it's not uh, it's not difficult for me to access that. Okay, that's all. Okay, what I can conclude from this uh, topic, online distance learning has many advantages and disadvantages. So we as a consumers need to use this facility as good as we can. So that's all from us. Uh, don't forget to be careful and follow the SOP. Stay safe everyone. Bye.